Hi, this is Drew with Daniel's Ag Services with your morning report. Markets all finished up lower yesterday and they're lower again to start the day so far this morning. Basically, you've got some harvest pressure coming in on the markets right now as we're making some very good progress. Should get that pretty much wrapped up within probably the next eight days or so. Also, we've got the fact that the WASD this upcoming Monday, the 10th of November, I'm getting a lot of private analyst estimates out for that. They're expecting a record large crop. Nothing new there. Um, they've been expecting a record large one for quite some time. Uh, but revising most of their estimates a little higher. I know we talked about FC Stone lowering their corn yield a little bit but still at record high production. So as those estimates start to trickle in from FC Stone and Forum, other private analysts, uh, when you start getting the polls released on what a group of analysts and their averages are, uh, that's weighing on the markets a little bit as the trade takes their attention a little bit away from the tight cash soy meal market and then refocuses it on uh, the upcoming WASD report as the USDA is expected to increase uh, both the production and yields for this upcoming crop. They've got plots that they check uh, yields, and they're only 35% complete on those plots for the October report. So they have a lot more progress done, therefore a lot more data to go off of. And typically big crops get bigger, and that is what is expected that we're going to see in this report this upcoming Monday. So other than that, as noted, uh, harvest progress should be completed in the next eight days or so. Uh, the weather outlook is cool and dry, but as long as it's dry, that's uh, really what we need for the producers to eat out in the field and cut their crops. So we'll keep you updated as far as what the trade estimates are. We'll go over them on Friday. Uh, that way you've got a, something to look at throughout the weekend, um, and then we'll go over Monday morning as well before the report at 11 a.m. Central on Monday. So that's all we've got for today. If you've got any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore investors should understand the risks involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the Risk Disclosure Access at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.